We're just going to talk about um, atomic spectra now, using the uh, hydrogen nucleus, uh, sorry, the hydrogen atom as a um, starting point. We chose the hydrogen atom simply because it is the simplest atom out there, and it's only got one electron, so there's nothing to confuse the spectral emission lines. So we, this is just going to represent spectrum. I'll tell you the exact um, frequency of the spectrum later on. And this is an energy level diagram which I've already labelled up as uh, Lyman series, Balm series and Passion series which you should have from your um, textbooks anyway. But I'll try and explain what they mean now as I go along. So, like I say, we're looking at the uh, first element of the periodic table, hydrogen, which has got proton and just over an electron in there, electron surrounding it. So the electron will uh, go around in an orbital, and this is what these lines uh, correspond to. As it goes from the lowest energy orbital, the 1s orbital, to the 2s orbital, it's basically going from this line here to this line here. So this line represents n equals 1, so it's the first principle quantum number 1, and that's the 1s orbital. Let's put 1s in brackets. If you've not done um, orbitals, um, it's best to just Imagine this is the lowest energy um, orbital or state for the electron to be in. So this will be n equals 2, this is n equals 3, and so on and so on and so on. So as the, the electrons um, circle in the um, nucleus there, so there's the nucleus, so it's be a circle. Obviously, it might not be a circle. Um, you can circle, if we just do a half, or a double four, that's a 1s, and then the 2s will be here, like this, but this is empty, so this is just the shape and size of the orbital, if it ever got enough energy to go there, so if I just put an electron in here, like this, and then it gets enough energy to go up to this one, then the energy required to go up to this one, or the energy required to come back down to this one, that would release energy in the form of light. Draw a light bulb. It's supposed to be a light bulb. Okay, so that would release energy in the form of light if it, if it fell from the 2s to the 1s and the same amount of energy would be required in the form of the same light so you'd have to shine light on it that was a certain frequency to make it go from there to there and that's basically what it is it just needs enough energy to go up and then it emits the same amount of energy back. So, if you have, I'll just draw this one in red, if you have a transition from the 2s to the 1s, or the, the 3 to the 1, or the all to the one. So these these are all the outer electrons. You're going all the falling all the way down, just back to the ground state. Okay. All the way down. Not stopping off at another one because that would give a different line. So you see the energy gets more and more and more. So it either releases more energy or it needs more energy to go up. Let's just do the uh, the energy that's released. So this will be, if it releases energy, it's already in a uh, high energy state. So if it releases that light, you'll see light from that 
um, element and that's called an emission spectrum because it emits light okay so we'll just look at the emission spectrum so let's go back up to our our little diagram up here our spectrum if we did an emission spectrum that's what it would look like it would show lines just for these transitions these four transitions so if you think of the energies going up in that direction say then this would be the lowest energy one this one and then this one would be slightly more en energy and this would be slightly more energy and this would be slightly more energy light that's emitted and they're all different because they've all got different amounts of energy here the gap the energy gap delta e where e would be n equals 2 minus n equals 1 yeah so whatever the energy that is it would be this, this one minus this one would give this energy and that actually turns out to be equal to h times nu which is the frequency it's just a greek letter nu meaning um, frequency and this is Planck's constant this is what Planck discovered yeah that's Planck's constant okay and this this one here means frequency the frequency oops frequency of the light that's emitted okay so how many times a second or whatever it is uh, it, it vibrates okay so let's just go back onto our emission spectrum now let's just switch the emission off now let's imagine that instead of falling down yeah we didn't fall down but we just get rid of that Oops. but we actually was given energy so this time light is shined on the atom and it goes up starts off in its ground state and this time it goes up so it absorbs energy Okay. There's not four electrons here, by the way. This is just one electron. So this is the absorbing just enough energy to go up to this. This is absorbing just enough energy to go up to this. So they're all separate cases. Okay. So yeah, there's definitely not four electrons. Just one electron doing this once, one at a time. Right. So that would be an absorption spectrum. And now we'll look like this we have lines missing from the light so these are the same frequencies but they're missing from the light that's um, gone through the atoms so if you look at a cloud of hydrogen in space this is the kind of spectrum that you'll see because the light that goes through it which has got all the frequencies has got certain ones missing because as it goes through hydrogen hydrogen absorbs some of the energy and and you have these particular frequencies missing and that's called an absorption spectrum and that's basically how spectroscopy works it, and that's how we're able to see that there are different elements the same elements that are present on earth are distributed throughout the universe because we can look at these absorption and emission spectra for different clouds or even our sun we can see the spectra uh, for the spectral lines for the sun and work out the exact energy of the transitions and this is another great achievement for oh actually I just noticed I did that wrong that's alright it's just the same one as that isn't it so I get rid of that one I'll draw another one in so this is actually a great achievement Put that up there, like that. 
This is a great achievement for quantum mechanics because quantum mechanics basically um, gave light to all these different lines, starting off with Bohr's model of uh, the hydrogen atom, and he basically did that to um, describe um, these the emission spectrum of hydrogen. Um, so you come up with these orbitals, like a bit like uh, planets going around the sun. Um, it turns out to be not quite correct, but it's a, a very, very good attempt, and it does explain this uh, these emission lines here. It doesn't work very well with other elements. So this is basically how spectroscopy works, and this is how um, we see emission and absorption spectra for hydrogen. So that's the introduction to spectroscopy.